Well, hello and welcome to today's video where I'm talking about art materials. Yes, hello, art materials. So I'm specifically talking about what art materials to take with you when you're traveling. Now, if you watch my previous video that I'll have links to below this one, and if you like a card up there as well, that was all about how to travel with your art business. But now we want to get down to the nitty gritty of while we've made the decision to get traveling, what should we take and why? So in today's video, I'm gonna share what I have specifically brought with me from Australia to the UK, why I chose those items, and what I bought once I got here. Well, hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie, and I just love to help artists like you to set up, market, and grow a highly successful, profitable art business. On this channel, I share all things art business related, and maybe now a few art videos as well. If you'd love to learn more about how to build that art business, then you're in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, let's get to it. What did I bring and why? So first off, we're gonna start with my trusty kind of giant pencil case that is actually artwork from an artist in Northern WA. Um, I can't exactly remember the name, so if you're looking at this and you're the artist, please make sure to let me know in the comments. My daughter bought it for me and I absolutely love it. It's my colour and it just holds a good number of things. So let's take a look what I've got inside. So initially, of course, I've got a good old A5 notepad. Nothing spectacular, nothing reasonably expensive, just nice paper that I could do some on-the-go sketching with. Then I've also got, and I newly purchased, and I'm in love with these beautiful Chroma Flow colored pencils. Now I could have, and I would like to have bought a much bigger tin, but I stood looking for quite a while and I thought, well, this again is roughly the same size and fits together with the sketchbook, so it's easy to travel. So inside this, it has two levels of pencils. So as you see, it's nicely stacked. Now these are not watercolor pencils, they are really rich in color. Um, and when you use them, I could do a quick demo or a quick um, show a quick picture that I did actually on the airplane. It's just a bit of a sketch, but you can probably see even just the color there. It's really rich, it's really vibrant and really easy to use. So I prefer this type of pencil over a watercolor. That's my preference because at the end of the day, I'm an acrylic painter and I had to leave the acrylics behind. More on that in a moment. So I have these things. Then I have, see, I'm really loving the little tins here. So these are Caran Dash Neo Color 2. Now these are water soluble, but what I really love about them, and these have not been used actually, <laughs> but they're in a little tiny tin. Super easy for traveling and really easy just to give, again, some vibrant color to what you're doing. So you notice now my pile is like that, but it's still not very large and it all fits in here. Then I've got one of my favorite collapsible, um, oh, that's making a big noise, <laughs> water containers. So I can just take that wherever I go. Then I've got a little dish, and in the little dish, I've got a really nice rubber and I've got a pencil sharpener two sides. So they just kind of sit in there. And then it's like, an, it's like a Mary Poppins bag, isn't it? I've got just a, a cloth for wiping up any spills. It is actually covered in acrylic paint, but of course I haven't got that with me. And then one of my favorite um, watercolor stacks. Now I'm not a watercolor artist, I'm an acrylic painter, but I'm gonna to talk to you in a minute about why I made the decision I made to bring what I brought, and you can probably see. So these are just great. If you haven't seen these before, they're just a stack. So I've got kind of reds on the top. I've got some greens and blues under there, and they probably stuck together. They've stuck together in the heat, so we'll um, open those later, but there's some browns and there's all the colors of the rainbow in there. Beware to clear them up properly so they don't stick together just like that. So if he's gonna to have to unstick those. Right, so all of that just fits in this trusty bag. So I also brought some other things just because I thought, what if I really want to expand and actually want to paint something a bit larger and I really want to dive into watercolor? Well, I bought these in Florence maybe three years ago. So these are Schmincke watercolors. And again, I'm not making any money off any of these. I'm just sharing with you my preferred um, 
tools of the trade. So here's a full watercolor set that I bought and I can mix the colors in the palettes and it all just clips away. Now, here's the downside to that. It's a little bit heavy and I did leave it to one side and I thought I wasn't sure, should I, shouldn't I? But when I have been doing a little bit of painting, I have actually gone to this over this. This is great on the go, but there's some beautiful quality colors. These are in a whole different level of color and quality. So they went over there. Then you might be thinking to yourself, we haven't even talked about pens, Sophie. So here's a little pencil case, overstuffed with pens and pencils. I need to let you know. I didn't need to bring all of these. I have used a vast number of them. So in here is a whole variety, and I'm not gonna go through, don't panic, every single pen. There's a good selection of pencils. Lyra, I really love a Lyra pencil. I've got some Ecoline brush pens. I've got the Posca Uni pen for white. I've got, I think, what have I got here? Copic markers here, and then good old art line pens in various thicknesses. I've got a couple of gray, kind of again, color wash things. And what else have I got? My firm favorite at the moment. And this is another Copic multi-liner. And it's kind of in a nice kind of coppery brown and it's a 0 0.3 and I absolutely love it. So I've got all of those in there. Let's talk about brushes. So if I'm gonna do watercolor painting, what am I working with? Well, I've got these. So these, I've got three of these with different sized um, brushes at the top. And I'm sure if you have traveled at all or you like to work in watercolor, you're familiar with these, you fill that with water. Make sure to empty before you get on the plane if you've got them in your hand luggage, because <laughs> they will count as liquid and they might ask you to throw them out. So make sure you've emptied those if they're in your hand luggage. So this is really easy on the go, but because I knew I could bring a fair amount of stuff with me, I was only coming to the UK, I did bring something else as well. And that is a little selection of brushes. And again, I went through my studio and I just chose a few different brushes. Some sort of larger wash watercolor brushes, a nice round one. Then I've got a variety, a couple of flats. I've actually got, for memory, my mother's sable watercolor brush. And I probably will not use it because it's very old. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but it's a Kalinsky sable and my mother painted with it. So it's my little good luck charm. Um, and right down the end, of course, I've got some super small brushes and I've even got a nib in case I pick up some ink somewhere because I used to really love doing pen and ink. And then of course I've got little tiny diddly brushes. Not at all what I paint with when I'm at home in my studio. So let me just share with you one other thing and then let's talk about why I made this uh, choice. So I'm pretty fussy with my paper. So a lot of you watching are gonna go, oh, you're not doing sketching on that, Sophie, are you? So I've got a Fabriano watercolor hot press paper here. Um, and I've chosen hot press because I do like the flat surface. I'm not a watercolor painter, as I've said several times. So therefore I'm not looking for that watercolor finish. I'm looking to potentially do something that I could perhaps then go home and work on um, and, and produce into a finish painting perhaps then on canvas, but I want the good quality surface. So, oh yes, I have got the good quality paper. So again, if you'll notice, it, I could have brought a smaller one, but I find that really constricting. So I landed here, I got this, and I did go shopping. But before I show you what I bought, let me just explain why I made the decisions I made. So I chose these items because I knew primarily I would be sketching. Primarily, I would be doing line drawing likely, so I wanted pens and pencils. So I could specifically just pull a few of these out, take my sketch pad, a couple of pencils and a pen, and I can pop those in a handbag. So that way I knew that was easy. Obviously, the watercolor choice is because I haven't got the mess. Um, I couldn't bring a, didn't want to bring acrylics because then suddenly I've got to get them out somewhere, and then there's, they're drying quickly, and then I've got the brushes that need cleaning. And just that general, you know, now I've got a palette full of wet paper and I've got a, a painting that's perhaps wet. Whereas watercolor dries pretty easily. I haven't got the mess. I haven't got the worry that I'm gonna spill acrylic on my friend's couch. Um, it's easy to clean, right? So that's kind of why I made the decision. However, for me, it has been a bit of a challenge because 
I'm not getting the color intensity and I'm not getting, of course, the finished picture that I like. So I'm probably going to be thinking differently when I travel again. I might look at bringing more pens, like thick colored pens to get something a bit more similar to acrylics. But I made that decision because I knew primarily I would be sketching and maybe just a bit of color in there to enhance the sketch. All right, what have I bought and why? <laughs> so I went into Cass Art. So I love Cass Art because it's just a great place to get affordable materials. And I go into the Brighton store. So hello to the Brighton store if you're watching this. I've bought several things from you and taken them back with me. In fact, I think even those those empty the, the, the brushes that I bought from you many years ago. And I have a feeling I bought this from you on my previous visit as well. So I brought these little, bought these little set, these little collections of sketch pads because I get through sketch pads really quickly. Who would agree with me? Don't forget to leave a comment below this video, by the way, with what your favorite materials are for traveling or going out and about sketching and why you choose them because I'd love to get some other ideas. So I went and bought these because I thought they're lightweight. I can take them home with me or I can leave them here, whatever. And then I bought also the A3. I bought them a little bit bigger and I've just done a couple of simple watercolor sketches in here. And that's what made me realize it's kind of not giving me a result that I really want, but it's, it's enabling me to capture a sense of something. So I'll probably get through one of these on this trip and then take the others home with me. And then because I knew I wanted to maybe paint something a little bit larger, I did splash out on a watercolor pad. Now, I initially looked at the fatter one because obviously there were more pages, but it was so heavy and everything weighs when you're traveling. You have to make a weight decision. So in the end, I just got this one. I believe it's got 12 sheets. It's 140 pounds. Again, um, it's hot press. Obviously, it's a different paper to the Fabriano, but great to just get started on. So I just played around um, with a bit of a semi-abstract design on there. And then I will continue because I've got 12 sheets, <laughs> which means I can do 12 kind of ideas for paintings before I get home. Ideally, I like to work really large. So even being constricted to this, I find a bit challenging. But my main aim for traveling with my art and choosing my art materials is to go home with a plethora of sketches and ideas. I've taken hundreds of photographs already as reference points. So I don't paint from a photograph, but I use them as a reference, just a mark or a shape or a color or a tone or something that will help me um, create the images that I'm creating. So I hope you found this little reveal um, exciting. As I said, don't forget to let me know below this video art materials that you like to travel with and why, because I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, as I said, if you've loved this video to give it a thumbs up because it really helps the growth of my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting and creating, and I'll see you on another video.